What's up ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be covering the lease deal on a 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab. Now over the past few months, a lot of you have been asking me for a good lease deal video on a full size pickup truck. Well, here you go. So in the first part of the video, what we'll do is we'll go over the national lease offer on this 2024 Chevy Silverado. And in the second part of this video, what we'll do is we'll run the 1.25% rule of leasing on this Chevy Silverado. And the 1.25% rule of leasing is just a rule of thumb that I use to determine whether or not a lease is a good value or not. And then in the third part of this video, what we'll do is we'll compare the lease and finance option of this Chevy Silverado because a lot of you have been asking me, hey, Ravi, can you please compare the lease payments to the finance payments? So that's what we'll do. And then you'll really get to see how leasing this Chevy Silverado really makes a lot of financial sense. So if that sounds good to you, stick around and please don't forget to like this video and please be sure to follow or subscribe to my channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Chevrolet website. And as you can see, it is truck season. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the Chevy Silverado. Right here is the Chevy Silverado 1500. And as you can see, right here is the featured lease deal. So right now you can lease a 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Crew Cab, four wheel drive LT 2FL with a turbo max engine for $389 a month. Now this is a 36 month lease that requires $5,699 due at signing. Now for eligible current lessees, you can lease this truck with only $4,199 due at signing. So if you currently lease a GM vehicle, you will qualify for this $4,199 due at signing. But for everybody else, it's $5,699 due at signing. Now this lease allows for 30,000 miles over the course of three years or 10,000 miles a year. And you will pay an excess mileage charge of 25 Five cents a mile for each mile that you drive over 30,000 miles. Now there is a misconception out there that you have to get a 10,000 mile a year lease. But ladies and gentlemen, if you want a 12,000 mile a year lease or a 15,000 mile a year lease, you can get one. Now let's actually go ahead and click on this star right here and let's read the fine print on this lease. Now when we read the fine print here at the bottom, you'll see that the MSRP on this particular truck is $54,595. And you'll see how that comes into play when I run the 1.25% rule of leasing. And you also see that this lease has a buyout option right here. It says option to purchase at lease end for an amount to be determined at lease signing. Now, when it comes to leasing, this is very, very important. Whenever you lease a car, I highly recommend that you only lease a car that has a lease and purchase option. And the reason for that is because if you have equity in your lease at the end of your lease term, you can realize that equity. So as an example, the MSRP on this truck is $54,595. Now let's just say that General Motors says this car's residual value or this truck's residual value is $30,000. Now what that means is that you can buy this truck for $30,000 at the end of your lease term or in 36 months. Now if this truck is actually worth maybe 35 or $36,000, that means that you're sitting on five or $6,000 of positive equity that you can realize at the end of the lease term. Now, if your lease didn't have a buyout option, like if you didn't have this option to purchase at lease end, that means you have to turn the truck back in and you cannot realize that five or $6,000 in positive equity. And ladies and gentlemen, that's one of the biggest benefits of leasing a car. If you have equity, you can exercise that equity. If you don't have equity, in other words, if that truck is worth less than $30,000 at the end of your lease term, you can just turn that truck back in. And you don't have to worry about selling that truck as a private party. So that saves you a lot of time, a lot of headache. And you don't have to go back to the dealer to try to trade that truck in only to get screwed on your trade in. So again, in my opinion, that's one of the beauties of leasing a vehicle. Now in this part of the video, what I want to do is run the 1.25% rule of leasing, which is a rule of thumb that I use at any time your monthly payment with $0 down is less than 1.5% of the MSRP. That's a good deal. If if your monthly payment is less than 1.25% of the MSRP, that's a great deal. And if your monthly payment is less than 1% of the MSRP, that's an amazing lease deal. So let's bust out the calculator to run the 1.25% rule of leasing. So what we'll do is we'll take the $5,699 that's due at signing and we'll break it up into 36 equal parts by dividing it in by 36 since this is a 36 month lease. And when we do that, 
we get $158 and we'll add the monthly payment to this amount. And what that does is gives us an effective monthly or, or a monthly payment with no money down of $547 a month. And this is a pre-tax amount. Now what I'll do is I'll multiply this by 1.1 to account for 10% sales tax here in the city of Seattle. And when I do that, I get an effective monthly payment with $0 down, including taxes of $602 a month. Now what I'll do is I'll divide this by this truck's MSRP, which is $54,595. And when I do that, I get 0.011. I'll multiply this by 100 to read it as a percentage and move the decimal spot over two spots and I get 1.1%. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a 1.1% lease. It's a sub 1.25% lease. So it's a great lease deal in my opinion when you use the 1.25% rule of leasing. And to be honest with you, this is one of the best advertised lease specials that I've seen on a full size pickup truck this month in the United States. Now in this part of the video, what I wanna do is compare the monthly lease payment to what your payment would be if you were to finance this particular Chevy Silverado 1500. Now, if we look at the calculator, it says $602 a month. Now this will be your monthly lease payment, assuming $0 down. So this is your effective monthly lease payment, including taxes, uh, $602 a month. Now let's see what the monthly payment would be on this truck if we were to finance it using the auto loan calculator. Now we know that this vehicle's price is not 50,000, it's $54,595. We won't use a 60 month loan term, we'll use a 72 month loan term because I just wanna show you how good of a deal the lease is on this particular truck. Uh, in terms of an interest rate, we'll use 5%. I think that's a fair number. I think a lot of people are paying more than this. Maybe some people are paying less than this. I think 5% is just a good amount. Uh, we won't do any cash incentives. We won't use a down payment in this particular case because we're not using a down payment for the lease and that's how we got that $602 a month monthly payment. Um, and then what we'll do is my state is Washington. The sales tax is 6.8, but depending on which county you live, you're looking, uh, you know, you're probably looking at more like 10% uh, here in the city of Seattle, at least you're looking at 10%. And then you have title registration and other fees. You know, we didn't really do that for the, for the lease, so we'll leave that out. We won't check this box. Let's just move this to zero as well. And let's calculate the monthly payment. Now, as you can see, the monthly payment on this truck, ladies and gentlemen, would be $879 a month. And that's with no money down. And that's not including the title registration and any other fees. $879 a month compared to $602 a month if you were to lease this particular truck. And this is doing a 72 month loan. If we did a 60 month loan, the monthly payment would be $1,030 a month. And just for the benefit of the doubt, let's actually move this back to a 72 month loan term. Uh, let's just say that your interest rate, let's just say you got a, you know, a special financing offer of 2.99% or something like that. And let's actually say that you got, you know, let's say around 5% off of uh, the MSRP. So let's do the price of this car at $50,000. Um, instead of $54,595. And even when I do that, let's see the monthly payment, it's still $759.46 a month. So let's actually move this back to $54,595 since that is the MSRP of this truck. Let's move the interest rate back to 5%. Let's calculate that. We have a monthly payment of $879 a month. And let's actually take that $879.25 and let's actually subtract $602 from that amount. If you were to lease this particular truck, you'd be saving $277 a month by leasing this truck instead of financing it. And if we multiply this by 12, that's an annual savings of 3,327. And if we multiplied this by three to account for the full lease term, you'd be saving a total of $9,981 over 36 months. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this truck does have a buyout option at the end of the lease term. And even if you did a 12,000 or a 15,000 uh, mile a year uh, lease, which would increase the monthly payment on the lease, it still makes more financial sense to lease this truck. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a video. I hope you guys got value from this video. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Financial knowledge is power. Please like and follow for more.